This is the real time rows, and we're dealing with a pattern here. It's a sequence of numbers, and they want the next one in the set. So essentially what they're saying is, the challenge here is like, find the pattern. Um, now, if you got one of these on the test, what you would want to do is spend a little time looking, maybe make some educated guesses, but uh, don't go nuts, uh, because if you don't see it, it might take a while. So things that I always check when I'm dealing with these patterns is like, well, you know, is there is there a common addition? So like two to twelve, it's like, are we adding ten to the denominator each time? No, we add ten to the ten to it the first time, then eighteen. So I'm not really seeing a pattern there. Um, also try multiplication. So the second one is one sixth of the first. So is the third one one sixth of the second? No, it's not. That would have been like seventy. That would have been one over seventy two. So it's not that. Um, so it's not just a simple additive or simple multiplicative thing. Now, um, I know the answer, but I don't have a good way to tell you how to figure that out um, other than kind of playing around and getting it, which is why I'm suggesting that if you don't see the answer after trying a couple of simple things and making some eliminations, that you basically make an educated guess and move on. So this one, the way that it works is the first term is 1 over... Um, 1 over 1 times 2. The second term is 1 over 3 times 4. The third term is 1 over four, uh, 5 times 6. Third term is 1 over 7, will be 1 over 7 times 8. So now I trust you can see the pattern, right? The, the denominators are increasing by, uh, the numbers that are multiplied are increasing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. Um, so that's the pattern. and. Um, so we can read off the fourth one, which is um, 7 times 8 is 56. So this is 1 over 56, which is the fourth answer choice.